Revival comes when Jesus shows up. And those who labor to see that day come will suddenly have less of an audience, less of a following, because all eyes are on Jesus. All of our ministries and platforms become a little less relevant in the glorious face of Jesus. John the Baptist was a forerunner of Jesus, and he had been making a call to his generation to repent and to turn to the Lord. He was baptizing people. But then the day came when Jesus emerged on the scene, and John's disciples were concerned. It's like, wait, now everybody's going to Jesus. But John was never concerned. From the beginning, he would tell people, I'm not the Christ. I simply go before the one who sent me. He laid no claims on the people he helped prepare for Jesus. John the Baptist called himself the friend of the groom. The groom is Jesus, and those who come to Jesus is his bride. The bride does not belong to the forerunner. It's not his prize, but the groom's. But the forerunner has the honor of helping him with all the preparations. John said that as the friend of the groom, he waits and he listens for the groom. And when he hears the bridegroom's voice, he's full of joy. And that joy becomes complete. And then John finishes by saying, he must become greater. I must become less. So even as the forerunner goes and does what God has called him to do, his ear is always sensitive and listening, waiting for the day when the sound and the fame of Jesus becomes evident in a place and among a people. At that point, the joy of the forerunner reaches its all-time high. The forerunner doesn't need the credit. He doesn't need the attention. And he releases the bride to follow Jesus wholeheartedly. So today, Forerunner, I challenge you, have a heart-to-heart with the Lord on how you can make him greater on what you do. And then reflect back on the past week. Have you prayed? Have you asked the Lord how you may fast? Have you marked your calendar, surrendered your plans? Have you turned aside to look for him and thrown off all that slows you down? Did you ask him to wake up your ears first thing in the morning and hear a word? As you pray today, pray for the bride, those who are his as well as those who are on the way to becoming his, that they would have a real encounter with Jesus. And then simply just give glory to the one who deserves it.